Hi everyone, my name is Mona and I'm a librarian at the Burton Bar Central Library and today we are going to make a model lung and learn how our lungs work. So for supplies, we're going to need an empty water bottle or soda bottle. You want to make sure it's a little bit sturdier and not one of the crinkle water bottle kinds. We're going to need two balloons. We'll need a straw, some scissors, and then some type of either modeling clay, Play-Doh, if you don't have those, uh, tape works as well. So we are going to start by cutting our water bottle. And you might want an adult's help for this. So we're going to cut it roughly in half. All right, we've got our half water bottle. And we're going to take our one of our balloons and kind of stretch it out a little bit, get it nice and stretchy. And we're going to tie a knot in the end. Once we've tied that knot, we're going to cut off the fat end of the balloon. And this part's a little bit tricky. What we want to do is stretch it over the bottom of our open bottle. So you want to make sure you have a balloon that's big enough for that. And once you have it on the bottom, it's okay if it's a little bit crunched like mine is and not a perfect circle. You wanna just test it by making sure you can pull down on this without it flying off of the bottle. And this is going to be our diaphragm. So we're gonna make our lung next. We'll take our other balloon and we are going to insert our straw and not all the way down into it, just into that top part, about right there. And we're gonna take some tape and we are going to tape it around, but make sure you're not crushing the straw. So the straw is going to act as our windpipe as it brings air down into the lung. So we wanna seal that up nice and tight so that no air is escaping. And test it out by blowing in your straw and making sure your balloon can blow up. And this is, will be our lung. So what we're gonna do is insert it, the balloon, just about there. Give it a little bit of space in it. We're gonna take our modeling clay or our Play-Doh or tape and we're gonna create a nice seal around the top. Again, we don't want any air to be going into or escaping from the bottle. Press that down. So this is going to be our lung again. This is our windpipe. This is our lung and this is our diaphragm. Let's see what happens when we pull down on our diaphragm. Does your lung inflate? Why do you think it does that? So what happens as we're pulling down on this is we are creating space inside the bottle. So air is flowing in to fill that space. When we release it, that space is filled again so the air is pushed out the top. This is similar to when we breathe. When we breathe in oxygen through our nose and mouth and it heads down our windpipe into our lungs, our diaphragm, which is gonna be below our ribs, our diaphragm is going to drop down. It's gonna to expand to allow that air to fill our lungs. When we exhale, our diaphragm is gonna move back up because it doesn't need that extra space and that is how a lung works. 